Here's our next Upwork profile review. This freelancer does SEO and keyword research, link building. And we're gonna look at a few things on his profile to see what can improve so that he can get more invites to jobs and more clients on Upwork. Before we get going, I just wanted to explain that the reason why I'm able to do his Upwork profile review is because he was uh, one of the next 50 to sign up for my course, Upwork Mastery. So if you want me to review your Upwork profile, go ahead and sign up for that course. The link is in the description below. So he starts off his profile talking about um, highlighting a testimonial here. Um, I'd recommend you not doing that. The reason for it is because you already have testimonials in your Upwork profile and they can scroll down and see this pretty easily. Um, these are verified testimonials. You copying and pasting a testimonial in here is, is not verified. So the power that this has it is not great and it's definitely not worth taking up the first sentence of your about description. If you wanna throw one of these in there, you put it near the end. Um, sick of being buried on the second or third page of Google, let me help you rise to the top and reach more customers than ever before. <clears throat> so that's a great first sentence that should be the actual first sentence. So get rid of that, have this as your first sentence. So you're, you're immediately um, discussing the client's problem and whatever is leading to them trying to hire somebody like you. So it shows that you get them. It shows that you understand what their problem is, which makes them more likely to want to hire you. Um, going back up to your job title real quick, SEO, SEO audit, keyword research, link building. Um, so this is more of a list of different packages you offer, which you, isn't really necessary in your job title. Um, I would figure out a different way of phrasing this. That, like you don't need SEO audit in there. You could just say SEO and keyword. I mean, keyword research is it, that just comes with the package of SEO. You can't do SEO without keyword research. So you could just say SEO specialist link building. If this is something you want to highlight, um, because that's a certain, like I'm in the content marketing world myself for the purpose of helping a client to build SEO, but I don't do link building as part of it because I do video content marketing. So you highlighting this might be a specialty within SEO that you want to highlight. Um, we're going to go through the rest of this profile and see if uh, there's any ideas based on what's written here. Um, so Yeah, if there's a one size fits all approach to SEO, you wouldn't need me. So you're trying to pitch the whole like how it's very custom based on the person. So that's fine. That's good. You don't need to say your name at all because that's in your profile. Some of this is starting to get redundant. You know, you've said a couple of times already you can help them reach their goals. Um, search engine optimization, one of the most important tools to implement when it comes to having a successful web bite in business. So it is the process of strategically optimizing a website to achieve high organic rankings. You don't need to educate the, uh, the client here on what SEO is. If they don't know what SEO is, then they're not going to be searching for you anyways. They're not going to be posting a job related to finding an SEO specialist. Um, every business these days who's even slightly online, who would even be a target client of yours knows what SEO is. Um, so you definitely don't need to spend space because this is definitely this, 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 yeah, this is just way too long. Um, like you have, you have these random highlights from your portfolio, but this, this, all this whole section here where you have almost a portfolio here of your work and what the rankings were, this just needs to be on a separate document. One, this needs to be down here in your portfolio section for sure. 
And then you also need to in a separate document that when you apply to jobs, you're attaching it to your proposal, showing the results you've gotten, but you don't want to be taking up real estate in your about description with all this. Um, and you definitely do not know what need, you definitely don't need to define. Yeah. So this whole section here, just put in a portfolio sheet and attach that to proposals. Don't have it in here. Um, and then cut this whole section where you're defining what SEO is. Like you don't need to overly try to convince them why SEO is important and you don't need to define what SEO is. The client already knows that and that's why they're trying to search for somebody like you. Um, and if you happen to come across somebody that's not sure what it is, then you just educate them during the interview process. It doesn't need to be on your profile. Um, cause it just goes to show that you don't fully understand who your target client is. If you're trying to define what SEO is, they're going to read this and be like, Oh, um, I'm not quite sure you, you understand who I am. Of course I know what SEO is. And then that kind of can turn them off. So yeah, some of what's in here is fine. You know, this first sentence is great. Uh, you know, this is fine. This whole paragraph's fine. Just take your name out. You can even say this as you want, if you want, but it is a little bit redundant. Take this whole sec. I mean, from here all the way to the end, just delete, 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 delete and all the way. Yeah. And then you can have some kind of closing sentence there. That's fine. Um, now, you know, definitely create a video for your profile. I always recommend that if you don't have a video where you're teaching them something about now, that's where you can teach something about SEO and tie it into your, your approach to SEO. So you're pitching your own approach at the same time that you're teaching a little bit about it and it can show that you are an expert on that on SEO. And then yeah, you, you, so you only have three things in your portfolio, but you've got all of these pieces up here. So all of this needs to be down here and try to find some kind of visual for it. If not, just have a description of the results that you got. It's good to go into Google and actually take a snapshot showing the rankings. Like a client is going to want to see, they're going to want to see that you've have proof of rankings that you've helped get for other clients. So that's going to help beef up your portfolio quite a bit. And yeah, I think that's really it. Um, that's, that's, that's where you need to be focusing your improvements. And if anyone else again, wants their upward profile reviewed, sign up for the course in the link below. If you're one of the next 50, there's still slots open. I will be able to review your profile. Have a good day.